Hi, it's Gail the Planning Girl. Welcome back to my channel. Last week, you probably saw my video on turkey. This week, I'm going to add the turkey gravy recipe, and I'm going to put it right here next to turkey. So let me scooch my planner off to the side here. I like this Pigma Calligrapher in 2.0 to write the recipe names. Since I wrote turkey large last week, I think I'll write turkey gravy in large letters as well. There we go, turkey gravy. I have these bullets that I've pulled out of my Joanne Happy Planner 100 sheet mega sticker pack right over here to my side. I have a little cheat um, recipe over here. The turkey gravy serves, hmm, I don't know, probably four to eight. And stock and the juices from your meat. The difficulty I think can be tricky. And the prep time, I'm gonna leave that off because there really isn't prep time. The cook time is about five minutes or so and the temperature is boiling. Uh, the cook time is once your juices have come up to temperature. So I'm going to write up this recipe and I will get back to you at the end. All righty, turkey gravy, all set to go. I'd like a little bit of decoration, though. Let's see if I can find anything in here for turkey gravy. Let's see. I might use a smiley face because we, whoops, because <laughs> we like gravy. Um, gravy can be tricky. Maybe I'll do a couple of smiles. Pink isn't quite right. Just checking to make sure there's nothing else in here that I might add. I don't think there will be a heart. I could do the heart. It's the right color. Threes are always nice. We'll do that. Just a little addition to the turkey recipe. I'll put it back here in my planner. So I've got the turkey followed by the gravy. I instructed Sarah to cook the neck with some celery, onion, carrot. And once all that was tender to remove the solids, this stock becomes your base. Add any juices from your turkey pan and add box stock as needed to round out the amount of gravy you require. Thicken with your cornstarch slurry, bring to a quick boil, and you're all set. Well, I hope you and your family have a glorious Thanksgiving meal and that you're together. Whether you're together in person or together FaceTiming, I hope you have a very glorious holiday. Thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. And I will see you next time when I prepare ham dinner, followed by ham gravy. So you'll want to hit that notification bell so you don't miss out. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.